بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم پروفیسر حسن اینڈ یو آر واچنگ مائی چینل پروفیسر حسن ہمایوں ٹوڈے ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی وانٹ ٹو ڈسکس اے ویری امپورٹنٹ ٹاپک آف اسٹیٹسٹکس ود یو پیپل فار آل دا پیپرز آف اسٹیٹسٹکس اینڈ دا ٹاپک از ملٹی ویریٹ انالیسس بفور اسٹارٹنگ ٹوڈے از وائٹل اسینشیل اینڈ امپورٹنٹ لیکچر آئی ریکویسٹ ایوری ون سبسکرائب ٹو مائی چینل لائک اینڈ شیئر مائی چینل اینڈ کلک دا بیل آئیکن فار دا نوٹیفیکیشنز آف دا نیکسٹ ویڈیوز لیٹ اسٹارٹ دیر آر سم پیپل ان وچ وی آر انٹرسٹیڈ ایکچولی دے ہیو سم فیچرز دے آر سلم دے آر فٹ دے آر فیٹ دے کین بی بزنس مین دے کین بی اسٹوڈنٹس ٹیچرز اینڈ میل اینڈ فیمیل کینڈیڈیٹس اینڈ اف وی آر انٹرسٹیڈ ان دیئر ہائٹ ایکچولی دیٹ از ون ویریبل وی آر انٹرسٹیڈ وی وانٹ ٹو ڈسکس دا ہائٹ وچ از اے سنگل ویریبل دین دیٹ از یونی ویریٹ انالیسس اف وی ایلیبوریٹ اف وی ڈسٹنگوش اف وی ڈسکرائب اف وی ڈسکس اف وی آر انٹرسٹیڈ ان دا سنگل ویریبل فار آل دا پیپل اینڈ دیٹ از ہائٹ یو کین سی دین وی ہیو یونی ویریٹ انالیسس But if I am eager to discuss height and as well as the weight of the students, now we are interested in two variables. There are people, they are businessmen, they are women, they are male, they are shopkeepers, they are students, they are teachers and they are many people and they are smart, they are fit, they are fat and we are discussing their height. as well as their weight then we are discussing actually bivariate analysis whenever we have two variables of interest then we move towards bivariate analysis now if we discuss three or more than three variables like height of the people weight of the people age of the people and date of birth of the people then there are four variables now now that is not univariate that is not bivariate actually we are discussing with multivariate analysis a very important topic and i have seen many students they ignore that topic they do not give equal importance to that topic that's why they cannot pass every written test of statistics and that is very important one and now i will discuss the first one is square matrix dear students in class 9th 10th fsc we have discussed that topic a rectangular form of the numbers in which we have equal number of rows and columns that is a square matrix for example if i have a matrix a is equal to 1 2 3 4 it has two rows and two columns its order is 2 by 2 the first one is showing rows number of rows and second one is number of columns that is a square matrix that can be asked in the exam what is a square matrix there can be four options which has same number of rows and columns that is a square matrix and the order can also be asked in the exam its order is 2 by 2 if we have three rows and three columns the order will be 3 by 3 three rows and three columns then the second one is variance covariance matrix a very important concept of the multivariate analysis if i have a matrix variance covariance matrix 1 2 3 3 dear students actually these are the diagonal values these are the diagonal values and these are the variances actually it is sigma 1 square and that is sigma 2 square and please keep in mind it is sigma 1 2 actually one is showing row it is first row and two is showing second column it that value of 3 is actually sigma 1 2 if in the exam they ask what is 3 there are four options that is actually sigma 1 2 first row and second column and it is covariance and it is sigma 2 1 actually second row and first column and that is also 3 please keep in mind covariances must be equal sigma 1 2 is equal to sigma 2 1 sigma 1 3 is equal to sigma 3 1 sigma 1 4 is equal to sigma 4 1 
what did you learn in the variance covariance matrix that is the symbol and in the matrix the diagonal values these are the diagonal values these are always the variances and of diagonals are actually covariances it is sigma 1 2 first row second column it is sigma 2 1 second row and first column and they must be equal if you have sigma 1 3 first row third column and that must be equal to if I have a value over here it is sigma 1 3 and that is 4 also sigma 3 1 these will also be equal that is the concept of multivariate analysis whenever we are discussing more than two variables of interest we are interested in height weight age and date of birth there are some people they are fit they are fat they are smart slim and we are discussing their three or more variables we have multivariate analysis then i discuss square matrix then variance covariance matrix then the third one is identity matrix a very important one b is equal to 1001 please keep in mind that is the question for paper the diagonal values are always equal to 1 and of diagonal values are always equal to 0 it is the identity matrix that is the definition of identity matrix in which it is a square matrix it is in which we have 1 in the diagonal values and of diagonal values are always equal to 0 next is characteristic equation there is an equation which is used to find out the values eigenvalues actually and that is always equal to a minus lambda i determinant is equal to zero that is the characteristic equation there is equal sign a is a matrix which will be given lambda is unknown value i is the identity matrix if i multiply these two then subtract from a i take the determinant and equal to zero and there will be the equation that equation is called characteristic equation please keep in mind and if i solve that equation and find out the unknown values of lambda these values will be the eigenvalues and please keep in mind eigenvalues are the diagonal values actually and i will tell you about the eigenvalues now there is a question the matrix is given it is c 1 2 0 2 if you are to find the characteristic equation by with the help of a minus lambda i modulus is equal to 0 it is actually a it is it can be c 1 2 0 2 minus lambda into 1 0 0 1 modulus equal to 0 1 minus lambda 2 minus 0 0 minus 0 2 minus lambda modulus is equal to 0 and that will be equal to 1 minus lambda 2 0 2 minus lambda modulus is equal to 0 now I will take the determinant of this much and you know we have learned in class 9 the mathematics these will be multiplied and these will also be multiplied with the minus sign 1 minus lambda into 2 minus lambda minus 0 is equal to 0 multiply 2 ones are 2 minus lambda minus 2 lambda plus lambda square is equal to 0 lambda square minus 3 lambda plus 2 is equal to 0 this is the characteristic equation if I solve it and find out the values lambda square minus 2 lambda minus 1 lambda plus 2 is equal to 0 actually that was the pair over here lambda lambda minus 2 minus common lambda minus 2 is equal to 0 lambda is equal to 1 and lambda is equal to 2 and these are the values of the eigenvalues actually what was the matrix 1 2 0 2 these diagonal values are 1 and 2 and these are the eigenvalues what did you learn characteristic equation is a minus lambda i determinant equal to 0 and if you are to find out the eigenvalues these must be the diagonal values of the given matrix a very important one next is trace of the matrix dear students what is trace of the matrix the sum of the diagonal values is the trace of the matrix now i will discuss some important questions of this topic with you people
द ऑफ डाइगनल एलिमेंट्स इन वेरियंस कोवेरियंस मैट्रिक्स रिप्रजेंट्स एज आई टोल्ड यू दीज आर द कोवेरियंस वैल्यूज एंड इफ दे आस्क अबाउट द डाइगनल वैल्यूज दीज आर द वेरियंसिस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अ स्क्वेयर मैट्रिक्स इन विच द डाइगनल एलिमेंट्स आर इक्वल टू वन एंड द ऑफ डाइगनल एलिमेंट्स आर इक्वल टू जीरो इट इज द आइडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स a matrix is positive definite a very important concept here is a matrix it is equal to d 2 minus 1 0 minus 1 2 minus 1 0 minus 1 2 What is a positive definite matrix? There are two properties for this much. It must be symmetric. What is symmetric? Symmetric means if I take the transpose of D, that must be equal to D. That is the property of symmetric matrix. That can also be asked in the exam. Positive definite matrix must be symmetric. That is the first condition. Second condition is that the diagonal values must be positive. If in a matrix it is symmetric, its transpose is it. is equal to itself and its eigen values are positive then that is positive definite matrix and if you check this much if i take the transpose of this one its values are positive first condition is fulfilled now row will be changed into column for the transpose minus 1 2 minus 1 0 minus 1 2 you can check it it is equal to d it means that is positive definite matrix